everybody, Shabba here, back for another video, and today, I'll be showing you how to make a rocket launcher in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is place down a part. It's up here in the home. Then you'll have a part up here in front of you. You can scale it by clicking this. You can move it by clicking this. You can also rotate it. And you can select. So you can scale it down and make it look however you want. I'm just going to make it look like this. And then this will be your rocket launcher. This is what it's going to look like. So you're going to want to go to Explorer. If you don't have it open, go to View and then Explorer. And click that and then this will appear with all the parts inside of Workspace and all these other services and stuff. And you also might want properties if you want to change the part or scripts or anything. I'll click properties right there. This will show up. So you're going to want to rename the part you just created to handle. So handle. You can right click it, then click rename, and then you can rename it to handle. You need to do this, otherwise the tool won't think the tool won't know what your character is supposed to hold. So then right click workspace, insert object, tool. This is the tool that will show up inside of your backpack and all that stuff. So move the handle inside of the tool. You can rename it to whatever you want. I'm just gonna rename it to rocket launcher. And then here you there, here you have it. So you want to keep it off of the ground because if it stays on the ground, whenever you hold it, you'll just be teleported to the ground and this won't move at all. So just move it up with the move tool. Click the green arrow and move it up. And then you got your rocket launcher tool and the handle and stuff. Now you're going to want to script it. So right click the rocket launcher tool. Insert object. Local script. We're doing a local script so we can get the mouse position and all that other stuff we need to make the bullet go wherever it needs to go or the rocket. So you can rename the local script client. And then we can start scripting. So, you can delete this, and then type in local, because we're going to make a variable, tool equals script.parent, so we have a variable for the tool, and then local handle equals tool, wait for child, just in case it didn't load yet when the client script loaded, wait for child, handle. There we have a variable for the handle inside of the tool. So then we're going to want to add the player variable. So local player equals game dot players dot local player. We're doing local player because only a client can access this. And use local player. And then we're going to need to get the mouse so we can detect the position of the mouse and all that stuff. So local mouse equals player get mouse. You need to put the two dots there, then get mouse, and then these. And then we can start coding. After we put another variable, local debounce equals true. This is going to be our cooldown for when you shoot the uh, rocket. So, now we're gonna get to the actual coding. So tool.activated connect function, and then put this, and then enter at the end. 
then this end will show right here. You need to add that or else your event won't know when to stop. It will create an error. Now we need to figure out if there's anyone actually holding it or if it was just glitched or something. So local humanoid equals tool dot parent find first child, which is a humanoid. This will detect if there's a humanoid inside of the model where which it got activated inside of. So if humanoid and debounce equals true to make sure the cooldown isn't on or off, then debounce equals false to activate the cooldown and you can't just spam it. Now we need to figure out the mass position. So local po position equals mouse dot hit dot position. This will show where the po the mouse's position is so we can make the rocket go towards it. And then now we're going to need to make a remote event. So when we put in a server side script inside the rocket launcher, it will activate once the client is done doing all this. So right click the rocket launcher, insert object, and then remote event. We will use this to um, act to fire the server side script. And then it'll do a bunch of the other stuff that everyone in the game can see. So tool dot remote event fire server and then position. So we're gonna give the position to the server so it can do all the other stuff. So right click rocket launcher again in Explorer, insert object, and then a regular script. This will be the server side. So you I'm just gonna rename it to server. And then let's add the variables again. You can just go back to the client script and then copy this and then paste it or just type it out again. And then you're going to want to put tool dot remote event dot on server event because that's an event inside of it. Connect function. Then we're going to put the tuple arguments in this. Every time you fire a remote event, the first argument has to be player, even if you didn't put it right here. So player, and then position, then press enter at the end of the line. And then now we need to make the rocket and all that stuff. So local rocket equals instance dot new part, because we're going to have to make a part. Then rocket dot parent equals workspace. This needs to be shown and have a parent. So rocket dot C frame. You're gonna do some C framing right here. Equals C frame dot new. So handle dot position, which is where it's going to be. And since we need to make it look at the mouse position, we're gonna put position right here. So this will make it go inside the handles position, which is the rocket launcher. And then it's going to look at the mouse position because we used a C frame. So rocket.size equals vector3.new. You can put any size you want. It won't really matter. It only change the hitbox and stuff. I'm just gonna put 112 a vector3. Then rocket. Dot brick color just brick color dot random. I don't really want to choose one. And then rocket dot velocity equals. So we're going to need to put the velocity. So handle rocket dot position minus position dot unit. So we can just get the direction. And it won't, it won't just give you like how far it needs to go or the speed will get in like one second or something like that. And then how fast you want it to go. So I'm going to put 10. And then 
Now we need to make it explode when it collides with anything. So rocket dot touched connect function hit. So we're going to make we're going to make it explode. But we don't want it to instantly explode when it hits the handle because it spawns inside of it. So if hit does not equal handle and hit does not equal script.parent.parent find first child you know we're going to put tool.parent and then remove this I did that wrong and not tool.parent find first child hit.name then we're going to make it explode so local explosion equals instance dot new explosion explosion dot parent equals workspace explosion dot position equals rocket dot position rocket destroy and we're good this should work so let me go to base plate I'm going to move this inside of starter pack so when a player joins the game this will automatically be inside of their backpack I'm going to play the game Then I'm going to equip the rocket launcher. And then I'm going to click. And it should work. The rocket launcher didn't actually fly. This is not keeping a constant velocity. It only changed the velocity for like a millisecond or something. So I use rocket.velocity, which always updates with the physics. So I'm going to remove this line. Put local velocity. It was instance dot new body velocity as we wanted to keep a constant velocity velocity dot parent equals rocket velocity dot velocity equals position minus handle dot position dot unit times I'll put twenty five this time. And just in case, we're going to put it inside of these. And then we're going to want to make it, um, no matter what, lift the rocket, no matter how much it weighs. So velocity dot max force equals vector three dot new in quotes inf. And then you're going to want to put that three times with the comma at the end of it. And then it should work. So I'm going to click play. Gonna start up the game. We're gonna equip the rocket launcher. I'm gonna click. And then it can fly. We didn't make the cooldown stop yet. But whenever it hits something, it should explode. It flies. Then we're gonna click stop. Go back to client. If you don't still have it up there, you can go inside the rocket launcher. Double click client. And then just put wait to debounce equals true or how long you want it to wait right here change the number then click play rocket launcher then you'll be able to click it again it has a cooldown on it so you can't just spam it then whenever it hits something it will explode and disappear. And that's how you make a rocket launcher inside of Roblox.